the what the function of the heart is it helps in circulating all the nutrients throughout our body it takes the waste blood from rest of the body to the heart pumps it to the lung where we get fresh oxygen into the blood and then that fresh blood is circulated throughout the body so you do not need to know much more than this if you understand the digestive system and the circulatory system with the heart as the integral part you will be aware that what you need to do with the body and the center of the whole process is the heart this heart is a wonderful organ which is made up of muscles and it pumps 72 times a minute which takes to 1 to 1.3 lakhs time a day and you imagine from the birth till death this wonderful organ keeps pumping without your prodding and this is helps in our sustenance and if the heart stops for less than 3 minutes you cease to exist so this heart is made up of muscle what we call in our scientific term as myocardium and this muscle also needs some fresh blood supply to keep it functioning and this heart is supplied by three arteries what we call as the left anterior descending the obtuse marginal and the right coronary artery and this left anterior descending the led and the obtuse marginal both come from a small pipe called the left main so actually our whole existence is hitched on this left main coronary artery and the play of all the heart disease what we call the ischemic heart disease in medical parlance is what is affecting these three coronary arteries you have to understand that these coronary arteries are small pipes which supply blood to the heart muscle they vary in diameter from 1.25 mm to around 1.75 mm and these arteries are lined by a wonderful lining called the endothelium the same endothelium which lines the heart arteries also line the chambers of the heart it also lines all the hollow viscous in the body like the digestive tract your lung endothelium and the endothelium which supplies the arteries to the brain and the kidneys so you have to take time and understand that what a wonderful human mechanism we possess but because it came to us free of cost we do not value it so first of all become aware about it